And it, it's especially interesting now, Michael, because this is a topic that we did not get to. And we stayed away from intentionally yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. Not enough information. That I want to fold into. Yesterday. Yeah, I want to fold into honoring my wife um, by touching on uh, this Richard Sherman situation up in up in Washington State. Because it's alarming on a lot of levels. Um, if you listen to the 911 call, if you read the reports, media reports, yeah. um, it could have been so much worse. Um, whereas, you know, as she said, nobody was hurt. Richard didn't hurt future Hall of Fame cornerback, free agent cornerback. He didn't hurt anybody. He didn't hurt his, his in-laws. He didn't hurt her. He didn't hurt his children. He didn't hurt himself. And let's Listen. let's 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 keep it 100. Uh, calling 911 didn't result in him being hurt or worse. Okay, when the police arrived on the scene and found him not of his right mind. And his wife and Ashley mentioned I, she mentioned don't yes. shoot. She had to say that don't shoot. Yes, don't shoot. And so the reason why this hits home and again, we don't we don't know what happened. Uh, apparently, he was again reportedly he was uh, threatening to kill himself. Uh, he was intoxicated. Uh, we don't know what's going on in his life. Uh, we don't know what's going on in his head right now. Uh, he's the, I think he's a vice president of the Players Association Executive Committee. Uh, this is not a story that we would ever thought to, to, to that we would see with a Richard Sherman, which means absolutely nothing. Let me say that again, just because it surprises us that a Richard Sherman would make these types of headlines means absolutely nothing. You don't know what people are going through. You don't know what people are, are suffering from. You don't know what people are dealing with um, on a day to day basis, Michael. And I'll pass it to you just on this note. Again, that story resonates with me because I know the depths that I have sunk before. Thankfully, again, but for the grace of God go I. Thankfully, I've never had an episode like what Richard apparently had the other day. But I know the depths that I have sunk and I know the times that my wife has had to step in and inter intercede on my behalf or save my life or pick me mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. or protect me.